Raphael's life, though cut tragically short, is one of immense impact. From possibly as early as 11, he was apprenticed to a painter, started to influence other local painters by 16, and was producing independently by the age of 21. In this time, he lost both of his parents, but continued his growth as a painter and as an artist. His subsequent career in Florence and Rome are filled with the masterpieces many are familiar with to this day, including the School of Athens and the Sistine Madonna, who was once described as perhaps the loveliest woman ever painted. The piece itself is undeniably a work of a master. The serenity of the subject, combined with delicate, precise brushstrokes, create a simultaneously dynamic and stable piece. While it has been difficult for experts to study based solely on a photograph, there is still much to be learned. There are traces of diagonals, composed by the blue lining in the fabric of his coat, adding to the dynamic effect. The generally warm color scheme of the scene is interrupted by that same blue lining, and continued by the view of the sea in the background. And there is no ignoring the idealized, calm exterior of the subject himself. Some have even gone so far as to presume this is a self-portrait of Raphael's, one of only two in existence. Regardless, we see an individual's story start to surface through the paint. This is a man lost to time, being brought to life before our eyes, even though we are robbed of the original painting. Today, the location of the portrait of a young man is unknown. It was known to have belonged to the Zartoryski family in Poland for over 100 years, but was stolen by the Nazis from their family's museum in Krakow in 1940. It was under consideration to become part of Hitler's permanent collection in Linz, along with other treasures owned by the family, including Leonardo da Vinci's Lady with an Ermine. Five years later, Dr. Hans Frank, a prominent member of the Nazi party, determined to take the paintings for his own to Wawel Castle. From there, they went to Silesia and Neuhaus until Frank was finally caught by the Allied Monuments men. In May 1945, he was arrested and several paintings were recovered. However, Raphael's portrait of a young man was not among them. To this day, the portrait remains a mystery. Was it truly a work by Raphael or was it a posthumous portrait, as suggested by a few scholars? Does the portrait depict Raphael or some unknown beautiful youth? And above all, where is it now? There are still recovery efforts being made by the Polish government, however they have been stalled by a lack of progress over 60 years. In recent years there was a breakthrough, wherein it was discovered that the portrait of a young man was located in a bank vault. Unfortunately, not much came of this discovery, as it has been impossible to determine an exact location. Still, the portrait remains as elusive as the subject. As long as the portrait could still exist, there was a responsibility to find it. Individuals and representations of their stories are what make our humanity so diverse and unique, and should not be excluded from our collective history. The portrait of a young man shows a man as complex and storied as every human living now, and whether he can be found remains to be seen.